Hey everybody, it's Chugga Connor, and welcome back to more Pokemon Fire Red. In the last episode, we got to Viridian City, though, so I bet you're wondering what I'm doing back on Route 22. Well, I said that there was an optional rival battle here, so I wanted to go ahead and do it. When you go over here, you're going to be met by your rival. After the Pokemon League, forget about it. You probably don't have any badges, do you? Your guards won't let you through without them. By the way, does Pokemon get me stronger? Now, this fight is optional, though, but I'm showing it. It's a boss fight. Um, now... I'm going to take the time to explain trainer battles a little bit, as any veteran of the series would know, or anyone who's played a Pokemon game at all, you can't run from trainer battles like you can with wild Pokemon. Um, now, onto what this fight has. In this fight, you're going to have to deal with a level 9 Pidgey and a level 9 of whatever your rival starter was. Now, that could be a little bit tough if you chose Bulbasaur, because Bulbasaur is weak to both Pidgey and uh, whatever your uh, rival starter is, though, because you always choose the one that you're weak to. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up a Spearow, lower Pidgey's stats a little bit, and go ahead and heal. As you see, I bought a couple of more Antidotes, because when we head back to the Viridian Forest, there's going to be a lot of Pokemon that can poison you over there. And honestly, I don't trust my luck against them. All the time, whenever I'm on camera, anything that can go can go wrong always does, so, you know. Oh! That wasn't good. <laughs> Wow, what a time for it to get a critical. Critical hits will ignore, um, basically, they will ignore everything, like, um, lowering, your att lowering the opponent's attack, lowering their defense, um, you know, anything like that. It'll ignore all that, and it'll just do damage as if you didn't have any of that on there. Uh, critical hits will also do double damage, so it's like taking double damage as if I never lowered its attack. So, yeah, that's definitely not good. Um, you know, you guys might be wondering, you know, why haven't I nicknamed my Pokemon yet? Um, I kind of would rather wait until these Pokemon, like, you know, do something that's, like, really cool or really funny or something like that. You know, before I actually give them official nicknames. And does this guy seriously have nothing he can hit me with that's super effective? Because he should be hitting me with, like, Ember. I think Charmander should know it by now. Or, hmm. I guess I'll have a little annotation in the video saying if it can learn it or not. But seriously, I thought I remembered Charmander having that. I remember this fight actually being kind of difficult. Oh well, I guess I lucked out. I know Pidgey probably should have Gust by now, because, uh... But, uh, yeah, Gust, uh, was changed to a flying-type move in this game, and it was normal in the original game. Okay, the Pokemon League is crawling with tough trainers. I figure... I have to figure out how to get past them. You should quit dawdling and get a move on. Yeah, 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 shut up, Gary. Uh, anyway... If you keep going this way, like you said, you'll get the entrance to Pokemon League, though, because you don't have any badges, you can't go through there yet. So, we're just going to go ahead and cut back to the Viridian Forest, alright? And the next new Pokemon you can catch in this area is just as pathetic as the last one. We have Kakuna here, which is the evolved form of Weedle. Again, all it's going to know when you catch it is hard, and it's not even worth the catch. If you're even going to have a major on your team, again, just catch a freaking Weedle. It'll be easier to train. The first two Pokemon I recommend it for no one, though, but this one I can actually recommend for some people. This is Pikachu. Everybody's got to know it. It's f***ing Pikachu. All right, whatever. But yeah, we got, seriously, it's actually a pretty decent electric type, one of the fastest Pokemon you can get early in the game, and it's actually a pretty decent Pokemon. It's also got a really good ability that paralyzes Pokemon when they attack it physically sometimes. It's rare, but if you can get one, I'd recommend it, especially if you got, like, a Bulbasaur and you're worried about getting a hit by flying attacks. It's definitely good to have. Uh, also might not be bad for Charmander to hit water types with. It's really a pretty good Pokemon, honestly. It's rare, but if you find one, I definitely recommend picking one up if you're looking to have an electric type. Okay, now that we got those bio things out of the way, let's just go ahead and go into Viridian Forest. Um, there's that uh, guy right there is a trainer up here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and fight this trainer right here. I'm planning only to show pretty minimum numbers of trainer battles. Basically, if you're spotted by a trainer, they will challenge you to a battle, and you're basically forced to do battle with them. Now, there's a few advantages to doing trainer battles. Even though you can't run away from them, you are getting multiple Pokemon in one encounter. Trainers' Pokemon also tend to be higher level than wild Pokemon, and you also get more experience from the Pokemon, uh, opponent's Pokemon being owned by a trainer. Um, if you got a Spearow, or you started with Charmander, this area is going to be a breeze for you, though. But then again, if you didn't, this area is actually still pretty easy, because it's just full of bug Pokemon, and there really aren't, like, hardly any good bug Pokemon, at least that appear in here. Uh, I mean, there's good bu bug Pokemon, and just not really any of them appear in this area. Uh, alright, let's just keep going. Uh. Let's go ahead and defeat this 
Caterpie. It's really not any big e deal. I mean, seriously, if you got a flying type or you got a fire type or whatever, you are totally set. This area, you're gonna have a lot of easy bug catchers. Okay, let's go. And level eight, not bad. As you can see, uh, all right, pretty good stats up. Hey, bug catcher Rick, you just got Rick rolled. <laughs> uh, okay, so um, I actually forgot to go grab an item really quick. Well, I'm, while I'm on my way to get that item, I'll just explain, um, I haven't really explained what stats are like, and I think now would be a good time to do it, because we're now getting into trainer battles, and you're going to have to understand the stats. Pokemon, other than HP, will have five stats. You have attack and special attack, which will determine your damage for, uh, physical and special attacks. Um, this, in this game, is divided up by type, but in later games, it's divided up, uh, differently, though, but, um, I just don't, I'll have the uh, types and like what they mean, physical and special, on the sides of the video right now. Um, you know, attack is physical. Oh, by the way, there you get a Pokeball. That's what I was trying to get. So yeah, um, attack is for physical attacks, special attack is for special attacks, obviously. Then you got defense, special defense, which are just your resistance to physical and special, respectively. And then you have speed, which Pokemon with a higher speed is who goes first on that turn. So it's pretty simple. And now just heading back up here, um, that guy's totally skippable. There's a lot of skippable trainers in here. There, there's really, that, even that fight that I did right there, that was actually a skippable fight too. I just wanted to go ahead and show the dynamics of trainer battles really quick. Get this guy right up here, but he's not really going to bug us. Uh, let's see here. Just go around here. What do you know? I got through without running into a battle. Um... I apologize for that cut right there. I actually thought there was an item back there that I didn't grab, though, but actually it's up ahead. Stupid me. Ugh. And Spirit Girl level 9 in that fight. I mean, jeez, I'm going to be so happy when we don't have to worry about random encounters anymore. I mean, seriously, they're just so annoying. I seriously can't wait until I have some money for some repels, because, because this is going to flow so much smoother, we don't have that to worry about. Alright, we got a potion right there. I guess we get at least some salvation from this. Now, if I could please, just please go without being interrupted. Okay, trainer battle. Okay, fine, I'll be interrupted for a trainer battle. What's the hurry, what's the rush? This guy's actually the last trainer battle in this area. He's yeah, I'm good. I know I'm good. Um, I'm actually probably off camera. I'm going to probably uh, fight like whatever trainer battles I skip in these areas. You know, just to get levels and everything, though. So, I am going to be fighting some of the skippable trainer battles off camera though, but on camera I'm going to be showing the unskippable ones, because those are the ones that you're most definitely that are, you know, mandatory and all that, and it'll make this, uh... Jesus. Dang, if you see skinny little trees, you can cut them down. I'll show you my skinny little tree. Attack it! Walk into it! I think I can... Ah, shut up. Uh, the Pokemon in this grass right here are the same as the other Pokemon that were on the south end of Route 2. But anyway, let's just go up here, and we are now in Pewter City! Woo! We have finally gotten to Pewter City. When Jigglypuff is broken down, it actually sounds kind of gross. Ah, uh, Jigglypuff, you and your beloved song. Bad Smash Brothers, what am I saying? Now... Pewter City, if you try to go ahead... Actually, wait, let me see if they've got repels here. They have repels! Oh, salvation! Oh, salvation! They have repels! Uh, while you're at it, I guess I'd pick up another potion. I'm, that's probably all the potions I'm going to need uh, before we have the ability to buy better HP recovery items. Uh, potions, sweet sweet potions. He's in the middle of a giant D-pad. Check out the museum. Maybe we'll check out the museum at a time. But anyway, if you go ahead and try to leave town, this guy's going to stop you saying that Brock, whoever the heck he is, some guy who was named after the sound of chicken makes, is looking for challenges. I mean, seriously, what kind of a name is that? I mean, it's like, Brock, 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 Brock! Yeah, I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, I probably really offended some guy who was actually named Brock out there. Because I hear Brock's actually a real name. All right, you have the right stuff to take on Brock. So this is a Pokemon gym. This is basically where the you know, area bosses this game reside. But we're going to go ahead and save the gym for the next uh, video, alright? So I guess